All right, now, speaking of uniforms, last night in the coaches' show at Rudy's Barbecue on 35 in Waco, Baylor football coach Dave Aranda was asked by John Morris, who's the voice of Baylor, about what uniform color he would prefer. Now, we're not, I'm just going to touch on this. I mentioned this because of Oregon. He actually said anthracite or black. And, of course, all that's going to do is fuel the fire of fans who want that there is, Mac Rhodes has said this before. Remember, nobody wanted Baylor at, for the uniform. No one wanted him. No one wanted to touch him. And Nike said, no, we're going we're gonna to do this. And they have had new uniforms. And it's a process. And it's like, well, why can't we have Dave Aranda? That is still something. And Mac, Mac Rhodes brought this up that there is an alternate uniform that they're going to unveil. But I don't think it's going to happen in the next week or month or whatever. But it was interesting that Dave Aranda, kind of calm, and you don't see him as like jumping out there, wants or at least would like an anthracite or a black that remains to be seen. There we go. Yeah, well, good. I hope they get it. That seems to be what the fans want and what the coach a wants. A segment of fans. Yeah. A segment, segment, segment of fans. Of fans. Yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, I, so, and I, immediately I saw this note. The response was like, well, why the hell doesn't Baylor do that? It, you have to let Nike be a part of this, too. You know, they're the ones that are the ones that release it. There's certain levels of Nike. Uh, and so that's all. I wanted to bring that up only because he did bring that up yesterday, last night on the Coach's Show. I mean, I'd be glad to just see it just so people shut up about it, honestly. Yeah. I mean, it's become this, the longest-running, dumbest conversation. Like, I get that you want alternatives, especially the younger folks who didn't get to experience. They only see, like, the pictures from back when they were wearing all these cool uniforms. They want something different. I get that, but... Like, it's just like children knocking at the door incessantly at this point. You know what I mean? Like, yep. it's just like, it's constant and nonstop. And it's, and there's people, like, I just got a tweet not that long ago, and I don't even mention who it's from, but it's just some screen grab from an article, and it's talking about how the, the deal came together. And it's like, trying to blame Jovan Overshone for why they don't have, like, the right, you know, and it's just like, man, do you have any, like, here's the disconnect is a lot of the people leading the charge are too young to understand why the black uniforms are so taboo for people. Because they weren't here when this place was at its worst. They showed up after the fact, after Matt Rule had kind of picked it up off the ground, and they just don't know why there's not black uniforms. And when you try to explain that, granted, you could say, well, okay, that was then. Why don't we turn the page? And that's fair. But there is, it's not like there's no reason. It's not like the administration is just saying, well, we don't like our fans, so we're just going to make them suffer. No, there was some thought behind why there wasn't that combo, per se, to begin with. And is it time to now maybe go back and change that? Sure, but, like, my gosh, this is just, like, never-ending conversation. And Every when you week. give them the black uniforms, well, that small segment, because I don't think it's, like, the overwhelming segment of people. I really don't. I think, I think the majority of people really do not care as long as they're winning football games. But will that be enough, or will then it be like, well, where's the all what You know, and so hopefully they can come to some sort of a, a middle ground where maybe there's a black uniform and we just appease – you know, those who have wanted to see that or we, you know, freshen things up and we bring that back and don't get so worried about, you know, the history and what people might try to connect that to, like with the Art Browse teams. of Because that's the big taboo thing, right? Yep. Is that they were wearing black and anthracite and all that when that was going on. And so it's been like a little bit of, well, let's go away from that. And there's kind of slowly, but too slowly for some, going back to the cooler stuff of alternate uniforms. But it's not as though, like, they're sitting there trying to punish the fan base or... You know, this particular person's a fuddy-duddy, and they don't want any fun. And I see that, and it just kind of pisses me off because, you know, those are people, right? Like, you're sitting there just knocking people for these decisions that you have no idea what goes into them. And it's not as simple as just, hey, let's go grab the black jerseys out of the closet. Um, so, you know, I think that they've all, uh, you know, a part of this story have allowed this to become too much of a thing, like almost bigger than the Texas game this week. And I just think that's really silly. Um, and maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like I've heard more uniform talk than I've heard, how can we beat UT talk? And yeah. certainly not on my end. And so I just uh, would love for this story to reach a resolution. If they've got black uniforms, great. If they've got anthracite uniforms, cool. I'd like to see them freshen things up as well, because I don't think that they're really using uh, the amount of you know, potential swagger that they could have. And I think they're a program that's in desperate need of it. But at the same time, like just the temper tantrums that I've seen in some cases, oh, it's grow up. I mean, it's not the end of the world if they don't have black uniforms. So, you know, point the finger wherever you want to. You can point it pretty much in every direction. But, my gosh, can we find a resolution and move on from this to actually focus on the football season that's in front of us? Um, so, you know, that's, that's, uh, 
you know, something I understand, especially, you know, the younger folks, they want to see cool uniforms, but it's not as though that was just like them trying to ruin your party mm -hmm. and uh, not have any fun. Ron Lowry made the comment that if he's worried about uniforms, it tells you they'll lose big. He's not the one that brought it up. No. He was asked a question from the audience during the show, and I brought it up because of Oregon. Thank you, Craig, for unleashing, because if you don't, I will or all of us will. We're done with it. It's over. Now we move on and our predictions.